Hello from Sleeping Virgins National Lakeshore. Today is the day. It's October 21st, 2020, and our 50th anniversary as a national park. Today I'm here to bring to you our super cool time capsule. Isn't it super cool? It's not the real one because, well, you know, it's 2020. But we have this here, and we're going to show you what's inside and go on a cool adventure if you'd like to join in. Welcome. Hi, I'm Scott Tucker, Superintendent of Sleep Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. As we get ready to celebrate our 50th anniversary on October 21st, we are also preparing a time capsule for the park of 2045 to explore. One piece that's going to go in that time capsule is a letter to the superintendent. I'd like to share a few words today with you. Dear 2045 Superintendent, as the National Lakeshore celebrates the 50th anniversary of our establishment, we must remember our story is not finished. Through 2020 and 2021, we will look at how the last 50 years will shape the next 50 years. One key piece of the celebration is acknowledging the passion and commitment of innumerable employees, volunteers, and partners. Not to mention the sacrifice of former landowners within the current boundaries of the park. My hope is that Sleeping Bear Dunes of 2045 is as recognizable as it is today. And the relationships created over the next 25 years will help you manage this treasure for the American people. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna pack up our time capsule contents. And once we have them all packed up, we're gonna go out to the park and see where we can bury our time capsule or where we can store it for the next 25 years. We are now at the Platte River for our fall 2020 park tour. Oh wait, time capsule burying, enjoy. Disclaimer, we know we can't bury anything in the National Lakeshore, except maybe our feet in the sand. This is just for fun. This isn't gonna work. We have to try somewhere else. Should we put it here? No, but Otter Creek sure is beautiful. Nope, this isn't gonna work either. But we love the Sleeping Bear Heritage Trail. What about over here? Can we store it in the cannery? How about over here? <laughs> How about here at Esh Beach? Since we came all this way, we had to stop and see Shalda Creek. Don't even think about it. I don't think this is gonna work. Should take this with them, right? Should we put it here? How about here at Otter Lake? How about the Olson Barn in Porta Nida? How about here? How about over here at the Kettles Trail? The newest trail at Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. No, this isn't it either. We're on the Platte Plains Trail, the Otter Loop portion of the trail. Should we store it here? No, but this is a cool spot. We're still looking for a good spot to bury our time capsule. This isn't it, but we love North Bar Lake. I know, how about the Crates Cabin, the oldest structure at Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore? We are at the Platte River picnic area, and we have another disclaimer. I mentioned before, this is not the real time capsule. The time capsule is coming. The items that we're putting in are not time capsule ready but they will be and we'll keep you posted when it happens. Thank you for tuning in and watching our time capsule video to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Sleeping Bear Dunes as a National Lakeshore. Happy 50th birthday, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Bye. We are going to explore the contents inside the time capsule. First things first, 
We have a mask because you know, 2020 COVID, a time capsule in 2020 would not be complete without a mask. We are going to include things like our park brochure, AKA the Unigrid. We have the old one and the new one that will be included in the time capsule. We're doing all things 50th anniversary. Our 50th anniversary sticker. We love the logo, love, love, love it. Here's more 50th um, anniversary items. We have our 50th anniversary edition Junior Ranger booklet. That is going in there and you can earn your special wooden Junior Ranger badge and you, um, for our regular Junior Ranger book that we're gonna put in there. That is going in and the regular badge and patch that you can earn. We're also gonna include some other Junior Ranger activities and things from um, National Junior Ranger Day. We have items from other teams in the park like Natural Resources. Of course, we're gonna put a plover in there. Not a real one though, our endangered species. We are going to put in some um, items from the Friends of Sleeping Bear Dunes, their information books that they created and put together, and then the Life of the Sleeping Bear book. We are going to put in our business card that has all of our social media sites. I wonder what social media like is gonna be like in 2045. We are putting in park information, plans, and documents to represent each decade that we've been in existence as a national park. We have a lot of uh, park information, ranger programs. This one is July and August, 1992. Coast Guard Day, North Michigan Maritime Heritage Festival, the Starry Night Sky, View from a Wetland, the Many Faces of Sleeping Bear. So we have a lot of those program flyers that we're gonna include inside. We also have some press releases. We're gonna put those in there. This one is from 2005. Let's see what else we have. We have a lot of brochures and maps and different things about the park. We are putting in our visitor guides. This one's from 2019, so we remember what life was like normally, not in a pandemic year. We have the park film that is going in there. I wonder if they'll be able to watch DVDs. We'll see. But this is actually an old um, slideshow program converted into a video, so that's even older. We're gonna put some information about prices and fashion and the cost of things around this time. We have some coins, some from the Centennial and from when um, Sleepy Mare Dunes wilderness areas were officially established. We have some invasive species information. And then we also have these. Does anybody recognize these? They are bathroom signs hanging in the outhouses. We also have more safety information on COVID. Welcome travelers and returning residents. Stop the spread of germs. There is also our 50th anniversary edition park pass, $45 and the awesome hang tag it comes with. And then quiz time, what is this? It's a fee envelope, so you can pay your fees. We're gonna put a note in there and we're also going to include a photo album, which you will see soon. It's exciting that we get to be part of the activities in 2045 with this time capsule, but we also have a role to play with our actions and how we take care of Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore for the next 25 years and the next 50 years. Thank you.